And so hi everyone in the Ukraine. I'm excited to hopefully be able to come and make it to see all of you. I am Sabrina Fabi and I'm a dermatologist practicing in San Diego. I think that something that we have learned that we actually studied on is that we looked at patients who we were more likely to retain. And what we found was that those that do only monotherapy, just neuromodulator, were less likely to return to our practice than those that did a combination of treatments. Now, if the combination of treatments was all done in one year, that included a filler, neuromodulator, as well as a laser to improve dyschromia, those patients were about 16% more likely to return to our practice than those that just did neuromodulator alone. But what was even more fascinating was that when you combine the neuromodulator, laser for dyschromia, whether a clear and brilliant or an IPL, and then filler all on the same day, doing the laser IPL first, we found that the satisfaction and retention actually increased by 25% from just doing the neuromodulator alone, which was statistically significant from both other cohorts. This data has now been submitted to be published in Dermatologic Surgery and was presented at this year's American Society of Dermatologic Surgery. And so what I think that we see this is because when we offer all the different tools in our toolbox, but more importantly, combine them to really customize the procedure to meet the patient demand. I'm Dr. Doris Day from New York. Hi to all you fabulous doctors in the Ukraine. And um, in New York, we need to be very efficient in how we work. So I find that doing an assessment initially is really important where I help the patient see my vision. The other thing that I do is I have every room set up the exact same way. So I know where everything is in every single room and I find that to be really helpful. Even my lab is set up in a very particular way so that everything is in the same place. And I know that things that I don't want people to touch are locked away. So if I have a sclera or something I use for um, something I use for surgery that might be harmful if it's injected right into the skin is locked in a separate area so somebody can't touch it by accident. And then finally, we live on checklists. So every room has a checklist for every procedure. And my assistants have to look at the checklist so I know that consent is done, pricing is done, photographs are done, face is cleaned, everything is set up just properly and I can see everything checked off and who exactly did it so I can confirm that everything was done right. And this way, I can focus on being the doctor, taking care of the patient, and I don't have to worry about those details to minimize infection, risks, and other adverse outcomes.